Get off the right wheel. Gosh, um, it's not the same at all. You will not get high if you smoke hemp. I'm sorry to tell you. <laughs> well, uh, cousins to each other, you know, it's like the difference between popcorn and sweet corn. They're cousins. Obviously, the plants look the same. They smell the same, which is what got them in trouble in the first place but um, hemp doesn't have the psychoactive properties that marijuana does. The cannabis plant has been the cause of a lot of controversy, but a lot of society's fear and negative thoughts are misplaced. Let's take a look at the science behind CBD, hemp, and marijuana. The two strains that make up the cannabis plant family are marijuana and hemp. So while they may have many similarities, they also have some distinctive differences that are important to understand. Both are high in cannabinoids, and these little molecules bind to receptors in our bodies. However, their phytocannabinoid compound levels are not the same. Hemp is high in cannabinoids like CBD, CBG, and CBC, where marijuana is high in THC, the hallucinogenic that is responsible for getting high. Hemp is quite low in THC, less than one third of 1%, which means you won't get the psychoactive effects you would with marijuana. So how did this all begin? First discovered in an ancient village in Taiwan over 10,000 years ago, hemp is thought to be one of the first plants ever cultivated by humans. In fact, it's hemp that first allowed the development of agricultural practices that changed human history. The popularity of hemp spread throughout Europe, Arabia, and China for the next thousand years, reaching Egypt and much of Africa by the 12th century. Explorers introduced hemp during the earlier times of colonial America. American settlers used hemp as a means of creating rope, clothing, and other materials. Negative propaganda surrounding cannabis first surfaced in the United States and the Western world in the early 1900s. Public opinion of cannabis began to change due to propaganda films like Reefer Madness in 1936. The hemp smear campaign was driven by William Randolph Hearst, a powerful newspaper publisher and paper company owner who saw hemp as a threat to his business interests. Hearst used his newspapers to sensationalize the dangers of cannabis, much of which was cited by Congress in the decision to ban hemp. Harry Anslinger, director of the Federal Bureau of Narcotics from 1930 to 1962, further shifted the narrative of cannabis and hemp by calling it collectively marijuana. Anslinger wanted legislation passed to make the plant illegal for all uses, calling cannabis a foreign invader to the United States. Despite a plethora of uses within America for hundreds of years, the Marijuana Tax Act of 1937 banned both hemp and cannabis from being sold in the United States. Now that we've learned where this all came from, let's talk about the science behind it. So how exactly does CBD oil work inside of our bodies? Every mammal has what is called an endocannabinoid system. This is a lipid-derived signaling system that was discovered in the 1990s. As it turns out, hemp is chock full of the phytocannabinoids that activate these receptors. This endocannabinoid system is responsible for memory networks in the brain. It's also intertwined with our immune system, so boosting the endocannabinoid with CBD can support these additional benefits. We have begun to rediscover all of the phenomenal benefits of this amazing plant, including potential benefits that society has been deprived of for decades. First of all, the hemp plant is loaded with phytocannabinoids, bioflavonoids, and terpenes. These compounds, when combined, create a synergistic effect to produce a greater response than any of them can create individually. CBD was actually discovered within the hemp plant by accident in the 1940s by Dr. Roger Adams team at the University of Illinois. Another scientist then successfully isolated cannabidiol in 1963, mapping the chemical structure and studying its properties and effects. Nowadays, attitudes in healthcare are shifting. In December 2017, the World Health Organization concluded that CBD is not harmful. In January 2018, the World Anti-Doping Agency removed it from its prohibited substances list. And in 2018, the Farm Bill legalized CBD and industrial hemp nationwide. However, all CBD is not created equal. In fact, in 2016, the FDA issued warnings to eight CBD oil companies after finding that some of their products contain no or barely any CBD. 
Additionally, some contained illegal amounts of psychoactive THC, and a 2017 study of 84 CBD products purchased online found that almost 70% were mislabeled. But even when consumer CBD products are accurately labeled, the doses tend to be very low. At Oxygen, you won't have that problem. Our CBD products come with a third-party certificate of analysis so you can see exactly what's in our products. Oxygen is exclusively sourced from United States hemp farmers that are fully compliant with the State Department of Agriculture regulations. U.S. grown hemp is rich in CBD, CBG, CBC, CBN, and free of fillers and unnatural ingredients like many other sources. Further, we use the whole plant, not just the stem, for maximum CBD quality and potency. Our manufacturing facility is GMP certified for good manufacturing practices. Like we said before, what's on the label is exactly what's in our product. So get in contact with the person who sent you this video to learn more about our oxygen line of CBD products.